Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Our virtual tour is going to cover the Canadian Rockies. What will be covered in this presentation? The geography of the Canadian Rockies, and we're going to go over some um, areas including Banff, Jasper, and Golden. The history, climate, activities and sites, food, and fun facts. The Canadian Rockies geography. The Canadian Rockies is a region filled with stunning, beautiful natural landscapes and endless opportunities to observe wildlife. As a segment of the Rocky Mountains, the mountain range extends southeastward for around 1,000 miles from northern British Columbia, Canada, and comprises almost half of half the 900 mile border between British Columbia and Alberta. There are around 50 peaks in the Canadian Rockies that are above 11,000 feet or 3,350 meters. The Canadian Rocky Mountain Parks are included on the UNESCO World Heritage List as a result of their amazing features. Some of these include glaciers, blue lakes, waterfalls, and mountain peaks. The history. The Canadian Rocky Mountains had Kootenai and Sequetmec people residing in the Southern Trails um, who hunted on the prairies. European explorers approached the Northern routes. Alexander Mackenzie was the first to cross the Rockies by the Peace River. Simone Fra Simon Fraser established the first Rocky Mountain trading post at Hudson's Hope. The climate. The Canadian Rockies are characterized by their highland climate. This includes warm summers with sunshine and cold winters with piles of snow. This period ranges from November to March. The coldest months are from December and January and temperatures can reach well below freezing. May and June are the wettest time of the year, and even during the summertime, the climate can be unpredictable. Banff. Banff National Park is one of the most prized parts of the Canadian Rocky Mountains, and it attracts millions of visitors every year as a result of its large mountain peaks and stunning blue lakes. It is one of the world's oldest national parks and was established in 1885. Lake Louise. Lake Louise is a glacial lake that possesses a stunning turquoise color. This hue comes from the rock flower carried into the lake by the melted parts of the surrounding glaciers. The lake is not only a breathtaking scene, but, but it, also, it is also a starting point for several hiking trails. The lake is a popular destination for kayaking and mountain biking. Lake Louise Ski Resort. This ski resort is one of the most well-known ski resorts in Alberta. It offers a wide range of skiing for all levels of ski ability, including open bowls and tree skiing. The ski resort has also recently added a new chairlift called the Summit Quad, making the 48 acres of new terrain easier to access. When the summer months come around, the Lake Louise sightseeing gondola is an efficient way to get up into the Alpine landscape. Le Fournil. Le Fournil is a French inspired bakery intertwined with Canadian culture and is located in Alberta in the Canadian Rockies. The bakery uses the highest quality of natural ingredients of natural ingredients and is dedicated to the art and sciences of baking utilizing amazing aesthetics it is located 50 minutes east of lake louise golf canada's west golf canada's west is specialized in golf and consists of the most beautiful golf courses in the canadian rockies the golf packages are highly customizable and are based off of travel requests some golf courses include Whistler's Golf Club, Harvest Golf Club, and Olympic View Golf Course. Scuba diving. While one can travel through the highest elevations of Banff National Park, 
they can also explore the deepest parts of the Canadian Rockies by scuba diving in Lake Minnewanka. Lake Minnewanka is 1,450 MTS above sea level and depths vary according to the time of the year. Another area of the Canadian Rockies we're gonna be discussing is Jasper. Jasper National Park extends for over 11,000 square kilometers and is the largest national park in the Canadian Rockies. Jasper has many breathtaking sites and visitors can spend time enjoying the backcountry locations, hikes, mountain biking, and scenic drives. Red chairs. While Canadian Rocky parks have over 200 red Adirondack chairs scattered throughout the region, Jasper National Park contains four sets of them. These chairs are placed in some of the most scenic and peaceful locations in Jasper National Park. Visitors can take amazing pictures with friends and family and enjoy the beautiful landscape. Snowshoeing. Jasper National Park is the perfect place to snowshoe in the Canadian Rockies. The trails in the park are perfect for all levels and abilities. There are a wide variety of places to snowshoe and explore in this area. Go to Jasper National Park with friends and participate in one of winter's most accessible activities. Traction kiting. Jasper National Park is the perfect place to do traction kiting. This activity involves being pulled over snow, ice, or lands by a kite. Because the activity requires vast areas of flat land, the park is a wonderful place to participate in the sport. To do water-based traction kiting, one can visit Jasper Lake, and for snow and ice-based kiting, one can use any lake, with the exception of Mildred Lake. Golden. The small town of Golden, British Columbia, has a population of around 3,700 and possesses many unique shops, hiking trails, and biking paths. It is surrounded by six amazing national parks in British Columbia and Alberta. Horseback riding is one of the activities that is most common in this area. Visitors can spend their time getting up on a horse and enjoying a horseback ride through the amazing region. Especially on fall mornings, one can truly embrace the cool breezes and appreciate the thick and diverse plant life. Blayberry is a favorite trail for exploring and rates start at around $60 per hour. Kicking Horse Mountain. Many come to Kicking Horse Mountain Resort to ski or to visit Boo the Grizzly Bear. The mountain is home to this bear who hunts, forages, and plays in his home. As people ski, they can pass by the grizzly bear. Many tours are offered to help visitors gain better understanding of grizzly bears. Food and fun facts. Foods to try in the Canadian Rockies. The food from the Canadian Rocky Mountains consists of a blend of many different cultures and types of food. A variety of cuisines are present in the Rockies, ranging from Greek to Indian to Swiss. However, many restaurants have a Rocky Mountain inspired menu, which is known for wild game. Some of these meats include venison, elk, and bison. Alberta beef is also very popular. Restaurants are also known for locally sourced slash harvested mushrooms, cheese, and seafood. Fun facts. The Canadian Rockies are known for being the origin of several major river systems. Some of these include the Fraser, Columbia, and Saskatchewan rivers. As opposed to the metamorphic and igneous rocks of the American Rockies, the Canadian Rockies are made of sedimentary rocks, such as limestone and shale. The Canadian Rockies are cooler and wetter and have more moisture in their soil and more glaciers than compared to the American Rockies. Kimberley Mine in the Rockies produced 75% of the lead that was utilized by the Allied forces in World War II.
Kootenai National Park has both glaciers and cactus plants. Thank you for visiting the Canadian Rockies. And that concludes the end of our tour.